So many of us were want into watching the Olympics, and there was one Olympic gold medal swimmer, Cody Miller, who you may not know had the medical condition called sunken chest. It's an issue that affects thousands, and if left untreated, can ultimately damage the heart and lungs. And there is a local doctor in Encinitas renowned for repairing this condition. He joins us now. Dr. Barry Losasso, hey, thank you so much for being here. It's great being here with you, Linda. This is so interesting because Cody Miller, you know, he won the gold medal in the breaststroke, and he has this condition. Yes. What's the official name of it? Pectus excavatum or sunken chest. Okay, sunken chest, and tell us what that is exactly. Well, it's a condition that you are born with a predisposition for, so it's a bit of a, of a congenital malformation of the anterior ribs of your chest. The chest is made up of both bony ribs in the back and cartilaginous ribs in the front. Cartilage is what gives our nose and our ear shape. Okay, so we're looking at the pictures yes, now. Yes, yes, and that's one of my patients, and it shows how the lower part of the chest is sunken and the distance between the uh, anterior chest or the breastbone and the spine is shortened, and the organ under that is your heart. So it compresses your heart, it shifts your heart out of its normal position, and it also affects how the chest wall moves during breathing. So it really affects both breathing and circulation. So it really you know, shows you just what an amazing athlete Cody Miller was, that he could win a gold medal and have that kind of a disadvantage. Yeah, because he did not get the surgery that you're talking about That's that you correct. do. That's correct. And he still won, yes. mean, maybe perhaps because he's in such athletic shape. To me, shape. it makes him the greatest of the gold medalists on the American swim team. Because you have that disadvantage because not being a, able to breathe. Yeah, really. it really shows just how great his gifts are, that he could overcome such a disadvantage through his own hard work and his gift of being a great athlete. Okay, let's mention these uh, tools that you're sure. holding, because this is what works. I watched a video of this last night, too, mm -hmm. where you, uh, you actually put this particular thing in yes. someone's chest. So this is a Nuss bar named after Donald Nuss, who was the first uh, surgeon, a pediatric surgeon in Norfolk, Virginia, at the Children's Hospital there, who came up with the idea of instead of removing the cartilages, which are abnormal, to literally reshape them, much like braces will reshape and redirect the teeth by placing force over time, this is an internal brace that goes into the chest. It has to be shaped according to the shape of the individual patient's chest, inserted using a thoracoscope, a small little uh, telescope that we put in the chest so that we don't have to open the chest widely to do this. We make three small little incisions. We separate the defect from the heart we bend this bar and using... No, and it's not easy to bend because, you know, I'm no, saying you're holding it because in it the videos is, it looks easier. It's, <laughs> it's stainless steel, so it takes an instrument like this, which is a bender, bar bender, and this is where the art of it all comes into play. You have to shape with this instrument that piece of steel so that it fits perfectly into the chest. There was a moment in the segment that I did, the reality show that I did, yes, where we talked just about a, the just, flipping, wait, excuse before me. Before you get in that, you were featured on the E-Series Botched by Nature last week. Okay, so that is, that, that's what he was referring to. That is to. correct. And there's the moment where you have to literally flip the bar into place, and it's that moment where the deformed chest, the sunken chest, becomes the corrected chest. And it's just a wonderful, wonderful moment that they highlighted in the episode. And you have this uh, set up this practice in Encinitas, and you're world renowned. I mean, there's not very many people know about it. Well, now they do more. I think more people are talking about yes. it because of Cody Miller, yes. his exposure in the Olympics. Yeah, he brought such amazing awareness to this condition. You know, it's very common. One in every 350 to 450 people on the planet have it. Really? That's a, yes, that's a high number. It is a high number, and it develops over the course of your lifetime. It's a, it's a growth uh, issue where you are predisposed to having these ribs grow abnormally, and as they grow abnormally, your chest sinks. If you have excavatum, it will cause it to protrude if you have carinatum. And then there's a rare form where you have both protrusion and sunkenness, but the most common is when your chest is sunken, and that's the form that affects your internal organs, your heart and your lungs. Okay, would you advise people, because over time it may get worse, to get this done? I mean, even someone like Cody Miller later on? Absolutely, I have two programs that I 
uh, offer here in San Diego, one for kids that um, I operate on uh, the kids from 13 to 15. That's really the optimal time to have the operation done. You're still growing. The deformity has not fully expressed itself. It isn't affecting you as, as badly as it will later in life. But also for adults who may not have had their chest wall corrected as kids, I have an adult program at Sharp Memorial Hospital where I do adults You're and correct guy. them. I am. I <laughs> hey, am. Thank you so much for taking the time and, and for explaining it in a way for, for those of us who aren't familiar with it, in a way that we can all understand. Well, it was so a pleasure it. being here. Thank you for having me. I'll give me. you back your instrument. You're Absolutely. Need that. Thanks. <laughs> thank you.